Britney Spears' dog is being slandered by TMZ. She should sue them for defamation because they're claiming that her dog left their home and attacked an elderly man, which is something that Britney claims never happened. So let's get into it. <laughs> The media is creating more fake news about Britney Spears, and I'm glad that she's defending herself and fighting back. So let's start off by talking about her dogs, because if you guys did not know, Britney has a couple of dogs, and one being named Portia. Sam actually gifted Portia to Britney. They actually posted about Portia back in October 2021, and in the video, you can hear Sam saying, it's going to be trained to protect you from any mother effer that comes around you with bad intentions, which I think speaks a lot because, uh, you know, she was in a pretty bad place with the conservatorship. He was there the entire time, so he's probably trying to protect her now that she's free. Who is a new addition to the family? Her name is Portia, and she's meant to unconditionally love you, and it's going to be trained to protect you from any mother that comes around you with bad intentions. Hi, Portia. So Portia seems like a great addition to the family. She's got a few other dogs. They're all so cute, so I'm happy for her. Well, recently something happened, which happens to a lot of dog owners, and Britney's dogs got out. But the story that TMZ put out is really extra. And by extra, I mean extra defamatory to Portia because they write that Britney Spears is warned by animal control after dog gets out and bites Elderly man, not just man, elderly man. TMZ reports Britney Spears, Sam Asghari, and their security team will need to keep a closer watch on her beloved pooches after at least one of the dogs got out and bit an elderly man. Sources with direct knowledge tell us that the Doberman named Portia got out of her property Thursday and was roaming the neighborhood. We're told at some point Portia came in contact with a man in his 70s who was riding a bike. So far, we learned the dog is roaming the neighborhood and has got into contact with this man who was riding his bike and is in his 70s so he is elder our sources say the man got off his bike i wonder why the man got off his bike and portia bit him in the leg before a member from britney's security team came along to wrangle the pooch we're told the man went to get his bite checked out at a local urgent care so not an emergency room an urgent care i must admit that i am scared of big dogs biting because i've actually been bitten by some pretty big dogs before so like when it comes to little dogs i'm cool but like as soon as a big one starts running towards me i i just freeze a source close to britney tells us her team was later contacted by animal control and advised to make sure the dog stays on the property and doesn't get out again the britney source tells us the incident was described as more of a nip than a bite okay so then why are you like why is tmz again pushing the the most dramatic story they can they take something that happens to like you know, multiple people every single day in America. Their dog gets out. Oh, it has a little nip, you know. He went to urgent care. So, I mean, I guess it was something, but it was a nip, not a bite. And TMZ takes this simple moment that happens in, like, every neighborhood and makes an entire article about it. And that's why Brittany is so frustrated. She writes, the constant lies from the media and TMZ has felt like borderline harassment. I wonder if she could sue them for harassment because it kind of seems like it is. It's extremely disturbing due to the fact of how incredibly important it is at this time in my life to be supported and respected. Also, the way the news has always spread lies about me is incredibly heartbreaking. I meditate over hope and excitement for my future. I have transformed my whole life with the elimination of my conservatorship and I deserve a respect. It's almost embarrassing commenting on this because of how outrageous it, what's being said is. It's my right to protect myself from the cruelty of the outside world. I believe Brittany wrote that and it's really well written. I mean, you can tell that she's upset. It makes sense. And why are they doing this to her? Is there someone like Jamie Spears who's trying to make her look bad because they are still in a legal battle? But it actually turns out that TMZ doesn't even have the story right. And we have the story actually thanks to Sam Asghari. But also there's this post on the Dog Day um, Rescue service that they used it's called dog days search and rescue team and they <laughs> have pictures of britney's dogs they look so cute like oh my gosh so cute um and they write about what happened here so let's go ahead and read a little bit from the team that actually rescued the dogs because 
the TMZ article already a lie. I mean, they said the security team like got the dogs, which just wasn't the case. I know it's like, you know, not the biggest deal, but if that's one inconsistency, then what else is a lie? The team was notified about two dogs running in and out of busy streets in Thousand Oaks, California on Thursday. These dogs were on the move, so three of the team members went out to help. Upon arrival, they saw these cuties still running around the neighborhood. They appeared to be happy while exploring their new surroundings, but we had to get them safe. We scanned them, and fortunately, they had a microchip, so they were able to contact the owners. Portia and Sawyer were secured safely in our rescue mobile while waiting to be returned. They were exhausted from all the running and the adventure they had taken on. If only dogs could talk. It's unclear how they escaped, but their owners are working on figuring that out and just are so happy to have them back home. A special thanks to the two Good Samaritans who called us for help. These two ladies helped get Portia and Sawyer off major roads hmm, and back into a quieter neighborhood where we could catch them. Oh, that's so nice. Teamwork. Okay, great. So this is like, you know, Brittany's dogs. And Sam actually went and like made a post about it. So I, it's like everything's so like... What is going on here? What is life? Like, it's almost giving like a branded post now. Let's go ahead and watch this video together. I'm here with Jen from uh, Dog Day Search and Rescue. They are the best search and rescue in Southern California. Not only because they rescued these two beautiful dogs yesterday when they ran like Forrest Gump out the door uh, and they found them five miles down the road, but uh, because I truly, uh, with all my heart, respect and trust uh, their search and rescue which by the way is a nonprofit, and we're gonna share with you the, the charity and the organization and how you can help out. We wanna blow them up by the way and, and really help out with it because a lot of charities, to my knowledge, are uh, cash cows and they don't take uh, a lot of animals and they don't actually help out, but they do. And we're lucky enough to have found them in such a weird way. Can you explain in like 20 seconds what your, what your organization does? Yeah, our organization um, helps owners get their lost pets back. We also work with abandoned animals. Um, Absolutely, and we also want to thank the Sheriff's Department for coming out uh, as well and making sure everything is okay and uh, and so on, uh, correct? Because you guys also work with the Sheriff's Department as well. We do. Uh -huh. yeah. So. I'm sorry, I thought he interrupted her, but that was the way that I edited the clip because I just needed to make it shorter. I was like, hold up, did he just like cut her off? But that was my fault there. I did include that in though because um he mentions the sheriff's office and like working with them. So I just don't know why like they necessarily had to include like the sheriff's office. If you guys want to comment below like why you think that connection would be made, like please do because I don't quite understand. Unless it's because those women like called the police and the police called these people and then these people go and do that work. Maybe that's the connection. Maybe I'm overthinking it here. But here is the caption he included. So that was a nice post from Sam. But I want to remind you guys that Brittany posted the day before calling out TMC and it's kind of screwed up. They didn't do anything with that article. But after Sam made his post, they updated everything. So they included everything that we just heard. But there's something I noticed that they mention five to six miles down the road. Well, none of the posts say five to six miles down the road. Maybe they just like did the math and figured out exactly where the dogs were found. I'm not entirely sure how they got that information, but something that like TMZ has exclusively. Some people think that this whole thing is planned and calculated. I'm not entirely sure that it would be. It doesn't make sense for it to be. I just think that they their dogs ran out and then some organization actually helped them and they're like, you know what? We're like also like celebrities. So if we give you like a shout out, maybe it would help out. I mean, if I had that level and I could like offer something so simple, I would totally do that and make a donation because that's great that they found your dogs for you. As far as the bite though, I think it's TMZ's opportunity to exploit something that happens every single day. And I'm glad that Brittany and Sam are kind of calling them out for it. Speaking of Brittany, let's go ahead and react to this video that people keep tagging me in. I've seen it a couple times, but I haven't really like sat down and listened to it. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, great news is, okay, so last week guys, I made a dress. It's really proud, done a panel, slip in the back, a girl from company sew it. They sent me a dress I didn't have to make. Okay, just first off the bat, one thing that Brittany does is that she'll speak in a British accent. I think, like, it's because her grandmother is British. Like, that's why her name's Brittany, like, spelled in a British. I don't, I'm not entirely sure the connection, but I think that there's, like, something there. So it's not, like, random if you've never seen her attempt to do, like, a, you know, a British accent. My step. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm just saying, okay? Now I'm so proud. Thank you, company. 
putting in this dress. Then, so guys, I just want you to know if I shut down my Instagram, do not call the cops. So don't ever be a roller coaster. I got this dress as well. reactions i feel like she's trying to be funny here maybe it's not landing like some parts are obviously like goofy um i was going to say that i thought this video was like you know three years old or something but she just referenced like turning off her instagram and the police calling which is kind of like recent isn't it so i don't know now I, i'm like i mean my first i was going to talk to you guys about how i thought it was like an older video but i guess it's not she does have the band still i think she had a red sweatband on maybe that's something she wants to work out with initially when the free britney movement was having like some people thought it was like because of like maybe that's where they were putting the medication into her who really you know that's what some people thought i don't know if we ever like had a proof to that but when she had like the bandages and stuff it seemed that way so hmm interesting i want to hear what you guys think in the comments below i do want to note that it does seem like sam is more present there are tons of pictures of like britney and sam out like at least some i see on some like you know, small Instagram accounts, people aren't really posting these paparazzi pictures or these public, like, stories that people take of them out, but it seems like they're spending time together, which is a green flag in my opinion. Let's go ahead and open this note from Shannon. It looks like they are from the East Coast, and it is zipped up tight. We got a cute little thank you right here. Okay. Dear Sloan, I absolutely love watching your channel. You are so nice and considerate. Some of the topics you speak about, I never heard of, so please keep the stories coming. Slow and the stories you talk about are genuine and heartfelt. Oh, that's so sweet. I just want to say that Lauren wants to play Amy Winehouse in the, I don't know how to say her last name, Lauren Jerkoy, Jerkoy, wants to play Amy Winehouse in the upcoming biopic. Sloan, Amy Winehouse is one of your favorite artists, right? Yes, definitely. I love Amy Winehouse. Sloan, I just want to know, do you read all of your comments after every video? Just wondering if you come back to read late comments happy new year thank you so much it's so sweet and then read this last loan i really want to get to get you something for real <laughs> oh my gosh you're totally fine in your bad handwriting you were totally good do not worry about it actually that was so sweet i really appreciate it i have the worst handwriting shannon so like i i understand mine is way worse i was able to read that but when it comes to reading comments, I guess I'll just say this in general. I So on the YouTube app on my phone, like the creator app, you get to see like the three last comments every time you refresh. So I see a few comments, but I do not sit down and read my comments. Like for me, it's like a mental health thing and kind of like a – like. Mm, do I want to like say parasocial relation? I don't know if it's that deep, but more of like I just don't – I would get too emotionally invested in the comments and like – I just don't want to get like that and I just really enjoy creating my videos, putting them out there, seeing you guys engage and I do see some of the comments. I mean, you guys see me heart them and reply sometimes, but do I read like every comment and every video there? No. And sometimes in some videos, I get really nervous to post the video, so I won't even like ever read the comments just to like they're just because I don't want to. Like it just scares me. So, anyways, I hope that answers like some of your questions if you guys were interested if I read the comments or why doesn't he reply to the comments? I just don't really look at them. Plus, I'm I am honestly working the hardest I've ever worked in my entire life right now. So I don't like if I can cut back on comments, I will. That's why you'll see um, you know, our great moderator in the comments, which we love. But anyways, I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye guys.